CEO running from creating a difference. True Ball reviews. Always start off with that IQ tour, the official ball of True Ball reviews. Now we're also got some Specto data, but we got to clean the Specto data off. Why? Because we just got done doing a ball test showing off Specto. We don't want to have the old with the new, so we will leave the one ball on. We will let us look at some of the new products. This one happens to be called the Bloody Ocean. No, the Black Pearl Bloody Ocean. And this is from our friends over at Legends. Legends. This is a thick shell ball. What that means is it doesn't have an outer core. Um, and we're going to compare it to the IQ Tour. So, shot number one. So, that shot looked to be a little bit right target. Actually, it wasn't that bad. The ball definitely wasn't too far away initially, as you can see here. But as it got down and landed, it uh, definitely did not recover as well. So, all right, well, fair enough. One shot in. Um, we're going to go back to the IQ Tour. Let's throw another shot with the IQ Tour. Give you a little double view there. Ten back. Dustin's split in the 8-9 really nice with that ball. IQ Tour is a control ball, our standard ball. We use it all the time. It's drilled. 60 by 4 and 3 quarter by 30 degrees and all of the balls that we test are drilled that exact same way so that ball drilling is not a factor in layout or in the performance. Um, now it's really coming down to what the ball performance difference is, not necessarily how we lay them out. So now we're going to throw that bloody ocean ball there. We're going to see. So it did come back uh, a little bit a little bit lazier. So let's go ahead and clean up some of the specto data. Let's clean it up. We want to look at what matters so there's back-to-back -back shots right there and you can see those shots are thrown fairly close a little bit of a different launch angle a slightly slightly out i mean three tenths of a degree is not very far off um and that ball did seem to roll uh, not too bad obviously we're going to be able to watch a few more shots now we're going uh, back to the iq tour bowling on chromium Getting the ball to the friction. Man, I'm telling you, that is definitely a good piece. IQ Tour has been around for so long because of that right there. Very versatile. Dustin, do me a favor. Why don't you just take, keep the IQ Tour and just start moving. Just start moving left, man. Right. Just keep moving left. I kind of want people to see kind of what that ball is about. Kind of what the versatility is of that ball. Um, I think that's missed a lot. So let's let's show the versatility of the IQ Tour. So strong, strong, strong. Four nine. It's all right. Go ahead and keep moving. Keep moving left. You can see he's in different parts of the lane. And we're gonna go ahead and clean that specto data up once again. We'll clean it up so you can see we're playing different parts of the lane. And uh, with doing that, it allows us to see how versatile the ball is, right? This is kind of a versatility. She's still coming back. Now, it's not striking every frame, but from a performance, I mean, you can see there's definitely distinct lines. You know, this ball is recovering, recovering, recovering. Uh, let's go one more. Go wait, one more big move, you don't mind. And then I think what we'll do, we'll do the same thing with the Bloody Ocean. We'll see how the Black Pearl... Bloody Ocean from Legends performs in that same kind of a test. I think that's a really good opportunity for people to see what's going on. Like I said, we're bowling on Chromium here, so it's a good pattern. Not flat like the US Open, not walled up uh, too much like the house shot. So this is a good feel for what's actually going on. All right. So we went a little too much there. We kind of reached the maximum limit. OK, cool. So now, Dustin, we're going to give the Legends ball the same treatment. We're going to throw uh, the shots until that ball no longer can recover, no longer does not make up uh, the spot. So move back right, give us one of your best shots, and let's check out the bloody ocean. Here we go. So shot one's good. That looks that look good. Super control. Yeah, yeah, definitely smooth. Definitely smooth. Big, big smooth. 
if you can see that shot right there. I think actually if I click it, yeah, you can see it right there. It's the yellow one. So not quite as far out as, uh, as the first one, but nonetheless, it's still a pretty good pitch. All right. Go ahead, Dustin. Moving in. Now look, he got a handful of that one. I don't think that's a, that's not really a, a count. We're not gonna count that one. Uh oh. We uh we got our spec though. But spec though says Dustin, you give that one a little too much, a little a little handful. We're gonna delete that, delete that shot. All right, that one's out. That one's out. Do it again. Do it again. Do over. Do over. Yeah, we're just chasing it in, man. It's a good opportunity to see how that ball performs. Kind of where does it max out at? So that's a different line. The ball did strike, though. So we'll go take a look at that shot right there. You can see it was a different line. Different line. It did strike. It was actually when we compare when you compare those two shots, uh, the lines are close, right? It actually was thrown a little bit straighter, and it kind of laid off that much. So, okay, okay. I mean, it's it's information nonetheless. We will take it. Yeah, throw a good one there. We want to give this ball a fair chance, as all balls. All right. So she did come back. She did come back. Let's go track down that shot specifically. We're going to get rid of this one because this one was not one of our best that one was good that one was all right so we got a couple different lines there right we got this one we got this one all right move in some more dustin let's see a little bit more and remember if you got the same uh iq tour drilled the same way we do then you can get a good comparison of how this ball should roll for you that one. That wasn't one of his best. That's okay, though. We're going to throw that shot again. Go over to our little specto. We're going to go ahead and make that shot go bye-bye, just like so. Look at this view. Let's see what we got. Remember, he's moving left here, so. He's coming back. Nah, okay, so we reached the limit there. That was okay? Yeah, that was, that was Aced. good. Yeah, I thought that was pretty solid. It just didn't come back. So that's kind of the maximum for that ball, right? So you kind of see that shot right there. It was it would have been left uh, of where the IQ Tour head ball had been. Uh, didn't quite, you know, didn't quite recover, and that's kind of part of the deal. Um, the ball definitely seems smooth. Uh, definitely uh, appears to be continuous. You want to throw a couple more shots with that ball just so you can see it a little yeah. bit more? It seems continuous, which is good. I think, you know, I think if you're looking for something that's more that medium pattern, uh, something to kind of blend it out a little bit, this may be in your bag. So, now that's one of the bad parts or one of the negatives to smooth balls, right? Obviously, if you, if you miss it, it won't overread it to make up for the difference and then you know you don't get the ball to come around the corner but that's okay not all ball, not all bowling balls are really meant to and are made to go sideways about a way you need different ball motions in your bag you need different things uh that you can uh, allow you to adjust so all right dustin give me your best shot right here this is the this is the last shot of the day for dustin if he gives us the good 10 back so look where he went look where he went you see where he went Ten back. Well, there you go. So now you have a little more information on that piece. It's a Legends ball, man. Thick shell bowling ball from them. So you need something that's a little bit smoother, something a little smoother off the friction, but a good piece, continuous. You know, make sure you get you one of these Black Pearl Bloody Oceans. So uh, on behalf of Dustin Zander and myself, running the CEO from Creating a Difference. You guys are watching this True Ball review. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We definitely appreciate it. And we're trying to give you reviews all the time, every other day. Something coming new from this channel right here. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe, man. Maybe you learn something new. 
and maybe uh, if you uh, want to help us out, drop us a comment in there too. We like comments. So with that being said, we're out of here. Talk to you guys soon.